What's good everyone, it's your boy Dak908 aka the Dig Dug himself and ladies and gents, boys and girls, Duggars and Diggets, we are finally getting a chance to play Monster Hunter Wilds, but it is the beta. Nevertheless, it is still quite fun. I didn't get a whole lot of time to play with it due to work obligations and you know being a responsible adult and all that, I didn't have a whole lot of time. However, I'm going to try to make more time available to me come later today um, because things are just kind of weird like that, you know. Anyway, what I will say is that the game is a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with it. I started using the light bow gun. I told myself it would be my main weapon of choice when I'm going through this game initially. But realistically, I kind of know me. I'm probably going to swap back over to the lance and or slash or gun lance, which I'm definitely a fan of. More the gun lance than that of the lance this time around. Mostly because the lance, at least to me thus far, maybe I need to play with some more. I can't seem to find all the same things that I used to be able to do in all the other games. But with the gun lance, they just seem to love remaking the gun lance. Giving the gun lance so many new amazing tools. But nevertheless, it's not neither here nor there. But what is here is the fact that the game itself is so fun. What little they gave us to play. They gave us access to, I think, four monsters to hunt. And the entirety of the... Um... The area, I forget what it's called, you guys know what it's called. I'm not very good with names, but they gave us the entire area itself to explore, which I will be doing on my stream. So later today when I get home from work, I'm going to be streaming this game and I'm going to try to just explore it and fight as many monsters as I can because I just want to play as much of this game as I truly and earnestly can. It is a ton of fun and I recommend that if you do have a PlayStation 5 and you do have PlayStation, actually I don't even think you need PlayStation Plus. If you have, PlayStation, if you have a PlayStation 5, get it. I know it's going to be available for everyone to actually you know, touch with if you have an Xbox Series X or S, I believe, and PC, I think, uh, come Thursday and Friday. But I implore you all to at least give the game a shot. It's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying myself. The weapons, they do feel good. Uh, the ones I got to actually use, they did feel really good. The monsters, the way in which they fight, they actually act, uh, interact with you as the hunter is actually really amazing. The new mechanics that they got to, I actually got to feel as far as like the pack monsters and everything go that's actually really really sick there's just so many little things and that's that's the real thing with monster hunter it's a bunch of little things working together to make a big product and for me that's really what it's all about all these tiny little nuanced things that may change that changed over the course of uh, what 10 15 years now make it a much more cohesive you know thing to play and quite frankly it's actually one of my favorite things about the game thus far so many new little things make up one really big thing and the immersion factor the seamlessness of all of this being a full next gen monster in the game is just striking you know there's just so many little things about it that make me so happy that i'm actually getting a chance to play it now mind you the lobby system i haven't quite figured out in its entirety yet but the lobby system from what i've been able to, to attest to is just it's open you know what i mean i don't know if you can actually find a way to join certain friends lobbies i'm sure there is but for for what it was for me like when i got back to the base camp there was like 30 people at the, at the base already and i just had to go on a uh, quest or two with them as well and i had a little bit of fun with that so i liked how i like how it was quite seamless when it comes to people that's within the base camp slash lobby or whatever it is just that if you want to go on a quest you can just hop on your little uh secret uh sacred i think and then just take off you know what i mean and you could do that like you just take off there's no loading screen none of that stuff no no no, no more of that just get on and go or you can load up a quest with a couple of people and get on and go that's really really cool for the most part i have nothing really bad to say about the game is i've only been able to play for about 30 minutes now so my my mileage will vary of course same as yours but it's just so much fun and i'm so glad we finally got a chance to actually play it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm not gonna talk about like absolutely everything because i i can talk forever i haven't even talked about the items and the freaking ui and everything yet but i'm totally want to i totally want to talk about that but what i will say is that i'm gonna give myself a little bit more time with the game and we're gonna be streaming it so if you want like a massive like nerd out session with me and how i think about everything that this actually added to the game we can totally do that at a later date but with that said everyone it's been your boy dag wait aka the dig dug himself thanks so much for watching this it's a quick little first impressions i just want to say the game is amazing and i'm loving what i'm playing thus far the weapons feel great the monsters feel great the mechanics feel great the world looks great everything's just fantastic i haven't had a bad issue with the game thus far unless you're playing on a 120 hertz monitor um the frames they jump a lot and it's only really smooth in the desert area that's a bit of a pisser but this is a beta but we have quite a few months. Maybe they'll optimize it by then. So it's not like other games where here's the beta and then like two weeks later the game drops. This one's like here's the beta and then like what? 
November, December, January, February. They have four more months. They can cook for at least two, maybe three more months before the game actually comes out. But yeah. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Take care, everyone.